And now a romance that's getting a lot of attention in Israel, not all of it positive, uh, that's fair to say. Prime Minister <laughs> Benjamin Netanyahu's 23-year-old son reportedly dating that young lady there who happens to be a 25-year-old Norwegian woman. <laughs> the issue isn't the two-year age difference, by the way. Folks are upset because she's not Jewish. Let's get straight to Ben Wiedemann in Jerusalem. So, Ben, you look at these comments from the ultra- Orthodox Jews, and they are pretty harsh. I mean, this one quote coming from a member of parliament saying, uh, any Jew who wants to maintain his roots wants to see his son marry a Jewish girl. There's no shortage of beautiful, successful girls without sowing in the fields of others. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's first of all point out that, uh, Kira, that the Prime Minister himself doesn't seem to mind the relationship. In fact, when he was in Davos, Switzerland recently, he met with his Norwegian counterpart and bragged and joked about the relationship. But it's true, for some here in Israel, it is not a joking uh, matter. There are many people who are opposed uh, to what they call assimilation, intermarriage between Jews and non-Jews. And of course, one of these groups that's pushing uh, this agenda has called on uh, the prime minister himself to try to prevent, in their words, uh, the relationship. But it's important to keep in mind that Prime Minister Netanyahu himself was married from 1981 to 1984 to a non-Jewish woman. And on, it, on this matter, he simply isn't commenting. And how much is it political? Because it really is. It's more of the, the, the right-wing ultra-religious groups that are complaining, not your, you know, the, the man on the street, if you like. His son is becoming more politically active. Is that uh, true? And is that what's upset some? Well, there are many bigger fish in the sea of Israeli politics than 25-year-old Yair Netanyahu. Uh, I really think it's just the symbolism of it all. And really, it's gone down very badly with some elements of Israeli society. But most Israelis you speak to sort of shrug it off with a laugh and uh, say, well, good for him. It's not, it's really only the ultra-Orthodox religious elements uh, that find this offensive. Most Israelis simply don't. So Ben, you, you mentioned um, Netanyahu's second wife. She was British born, but she converted to, to Judaism. So let's say his son falls in love with this beautiful young Norwegian. We're pushing him into marriage and, here. Well, no, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just, I'm putting it out there. Let's say they fall in love, they want to get married. Um, and she converts, does this all go away? Well, it would. In fact, this young Norwegian woman's older sister apparently has already converted to Judaism and lives in Israel. So certainly that would be one way to avoid this issue uh, going any further. But let's for not forget that this relationship began just uh, apparently, according to the Israeli media, uh, this past summer, and let's not jump to conclusions. <laughs> <laughs> they're so young. Oh, they're so With our background, our worry. advice would be wait as long wait, as you can. Wait, wait, wait. I think <laughs> Ben Wiedemann, good to see you, mate. Thanks for that.